Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at portable software, one of my favorite things. I've never been a big fan of the executable or the Microsoft installer known as MSI, but I do love the portable because you can extract it, make a shortcut, back it up by just copying it to a thumb drive, uploading it to the cloud, whatever way you like to back up, and you always have your program just the way you left it. For example, I use Thunderbird that way for my email, and my email is always saved. Let's take a look at a couple of them here. We'll start with tweaking.com's window repair so you can show you how it works. This you're probably familiar with. You quite simply follow through the steps and you install it. Now, once the installer is finished, the problem you have is pretty much all programs. There's some exceptions. Some are better than worse and some are bad. They'll leave behind registry entries, files, folders. Uh, I've seen it do it in the thousands. So now if you don't want this program in anymore, you're actually going to have to go over here and uninstall it and go through the steps here and hope that it actually cleans it completely. But if you download the portable, this is a zip file. In this case, we're going to just double click it and I'm not using any programs for zip in this so if you're somebody who's a fairly casual computer user this is the reason this is what you will see if you have a zip file you probably know how it works so we double click it you're in the folder and you want to go to extract all files from here you can browse put it anywhere you want and leave show extracted files when completed up for this example we're just gonna dump it right here because we're showing you how easy it is and you wait a minute because the Microsoft uh, extractor isn't all that fast. So we'll sit here and twiddle our thumbs for a minute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can do it. Now, once this is completed, see we have 415 items. The folder is going to pop up. We're going to go into the folder, find the executable that starts it right here. Right click, let go, create a shortcut. Now you can forget about that and all you have to do is double click it and it runs. When you're done with it, you simply go to where we installed it, which would be this folder, and you just delete that folder when you're done. And it's gone, there is no uninstaller. If you wanted to back it up, you could just take the folder and move it anywhere you would like to move it. That folder can be moved now to a thumb drive, a CD, DVD, the cloud, anything you want. Now this is always backed up for you. Simple as that. So again, I delete the shortcut, I delete the folder, and the program is not here anymore. You didn't have to go through the installer, you didn't have to look for third-party software, bundleware, adware. Nice and simple, nice and easy. The only exception real quick before we wrap this up is sometimes you'll see a .paf file or even an executable. All this is going to do is it's basically a front end, so if you're not familiar doing it the way I just did it, all it's going to do for you is walk you through simply extracting it to wherever you want. So you do that, you wait until it's finished, you can run it when you're done, click finish, and once again, as you can see, it created a folder here. So you take this just like we showed you before, right click, and create a shortcut, and it's there. And again, the folder, just like before, is quite simply something that you can move, copy anywhere you want so that you have it exactly the same. It's just a interface to do the work for you. I really hope this helps some people out. Um, there's so much false positives out there, so much bundleware out there that I'm a fan of portable software, at least for me. If you see something portable, use the portable. It's safer. It's easier. If your computer crashes, why would you want to have to download it again? reinstall something, set up all your settings. All you got to do is drag and drop that folder, well, as we did here, to wherever you want it. So I hope, I hope that explains portable software a little bit for you. That's about it for today. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.